it's Katie here with Life in the Mundane, and today we're going to look at one of the challenging questions of homeschooling. You've decided to homeschool, which is a big enough decision as is, but how do you decide what curriculum is best for you and your kids? This is like the ultimate question, and I feel like especially this summer is probably one of the things that you're wrestling with the most. Whether you're an experienced homeschool mom or brand spanking new, um, it can be overwhelming because everyone says that their curriculum is the best and the bee's knees, and you better get it. And you just don't want to throw your money at the wrong thing. So today we're going to just talk about a few strategies on how maybe you can get a little bit closer to the right thing the first time and how you can kind of avoid the pitfall FOMO, the fear of missing out process and keep yourself from spending money you don't need to spend. So let's get started. So with homeschooling curriculum, if you have not looked, it is daunting. There is a million options out there. I am a second generation homeschooler. When I was homeschooled, there was just a handful of options. And I know even that was overwhelming for my mom to figure out what would work best for us. I was the oldest child, so a little bit of the guinea pig, and I tried out a lot of different curriculums. We did Switched on Schoolhouse, we did a little bit of a Becca, we did Sunlight, we did Saxon, we did, I mean, IEW, teaching textbooks, classical commerce, I mean, all of it, you name it, we probably did it. My mom probably did it at some point, whether I personally went through it or my siblings did. Tried the whole gamut of things, okay? And it can be really hard to do that. One thing I see happen a lot, especially with new homeschooling moms, although it definitely can happen with experienced one as well, is we get this FOMO. We get this fear of missing out and we hear about all these moms talk about this amazing curriculum and how much they love it and how you need to get it and you need to get it now and it will fix all your problems. Your kid has a problem with math? Never again if you buy XYZ. Your child is struggling with reading? They'll be reading in just 30 days if you use this program. Whatever it is. And we get so excited and we're worried that even if what's working for us right now is is working, we have, we have a fear that maybe there's something better and we should just jump ship, okay? And so I feel like, first of all, I want to say just like, it's okay. There are going to be curriculums that might be a better fit and you might be doing something, but as long as it's working, stick with it. Do not fix what's not broken and keep going in that direction. That being said, don't fall into the opposite side of the fear of missing out and fall into the, we are started with something and we're going to stick with it and we're never, ever, ever going to get away from that because this is the only, this worked for my mom and it's going to work for me or it worked for my best friend, Sally, and it's going to work for me and we're going to do this and we're going to do this until they graduate and we are not going to look at anything else because I just want something in a box and that's simple and ready to go. Don't fall into that either because it can be really challenging. Each of your kids are going to be different. You're going to be different. You're going to be different than your mother. You're going to be different than your friend. You're going to be different than your sister. And it might not work for you. So don't get locked into something and don't have drifting eyes constantly looking at what's best over here. So those two extremes out of the way, what do you do? When you see all of these reviews, I've done reviews on curriculum, there's millions of reviews out there on YouTube and Facebook and websites, blogs, all this on amazing curriculum. There are not a lot of purely bad curriculums, honestly guys. There are a lot of amazing curriculums, but you need to find what fits for your family. So the first thing I would say about that is evaluate you as a teacher. Look at your time. How much time do you have? How much time do you want to put into this? Um, also, sometimes it doesn't matter at all about how much time you have or how much you want to put it into it, but it matters in how many kids you have. So I might find this great curriculum and it's 45 minutes per kid, which is not a big deal for one subject, which is not a big deal. I can spend 45 minutes, but if I have six kids, can I multiply that times six and do all the different subjects that need to be done? Probably not. So I need to probably stay away from that. So evaluate where you're at time-wise as a teacher, evaluate where you are style-wise. And some of this, guys, I'll be honest, is trial and error. And you do have to try. So don't be afraid of trying and failing. It just helps you get closer to what works for you. Um, but figure out where you are as a teacher. Do you like open and go, like scripted, like bold type here, you read this, you know, here's where you pause and wait for the kid. And it has all of that written out for you so you don't have to do any really prep work or thinking. Or are you a mom that loves to do like read a book and then just go on this rabbit trail and learn about this? So you're reading about, you know, reading 
little house on the prairie and all of a sudden you're wanting to research how to make your own maple syrup and how you want to make corn husk dolls and you want to do this and you're just a mom that's an idea mom you probably if you are you probably have a huge pinterest board full of different fun educational activities and you actually get to them that means you're that kind of mom um if maybe you are some combination of in between and maybe you don't want quite so scripted and scheduled but don't want quite so like go with the flow wherever you know the wind blows you want to go that way find out which kind of mom you are there are some great quizzes online that can kind of help you and just also look at your day-to-day -day life maybe you haven't started homeschooling and just look at your planners like are you a big planner do you love to schedule out every single second of every single day then you're probably going to want to like really one of these structured programs. If you're somebody who's maybe very disorganized and constantly late and feeling frustrated, maybe you're going to want something that gives you a little bit of structure so that you have a little bit of support to help you through the process, but doesn't give you so much structure that you feel frustrated by the process, that you can't keep up with that. So just consider those things. Also consider your kids. What kind of personalities are they? What kind of learners are they? There is a great quiz um, Rebecca at Homeschool On put out, and I will drop those links below, that you can take to kind of figure out what kind of learner your child is. Are they a kinesthetic learner? Are they an audible learner? Are they a visual learner? Those are the kinds of things that will be really helpful to you. Um, if your kids are really hands-on and they need something super hands-on, then like a strict textbook type thing for all of your subjects across the board is probably not a good fit for you. Um, but that doesn't mean that you can't use some textbooks. You could have a mix here or there, but you're going to want to look at their styles and make sure that especially the subjects that they're weakest in or they struggle with the most, that you really have something that fits with their learning style. You're also going to want to consider, can you do this all together? If you have more than one kid, can you combine subjects and grades and ages a little bit to help you as a mom not struggle and to be able to get all those things in? These are all great things to remember. You do want to look at price. Most definitely you want to stay within your budget, but don't get stuck on the free is best and don't get stuck on a have to spend thousand dollars per kid or they cannot have a great education there is an in-between you can get resources from the library a lot of times with the curriculums you can buy them used you have options out there there are digital curriculums that you can use and just read off your ipad and not even have to print um you can borrow homeschool curriculum from other moms look through curriculum beforehand if you can go to your local mardell's um, bookstores go to your homeschool convention talk to other homeschool moms look through the curriculum and actually finger through it because a lot can be told. I have been really excited about a lot of curriculums before and then flipped through them and found out they're not so great. I do think video reviews and blog reviews are fantastic because I feel like they will give you, they will give you different perspectives on the curriculum that people are using that you can't get from a website or even just flipping through it. You're going to learn from personal experience, but here's what I would challenge you to do. Look for pro and con videos. Look for videos that tell you, oh my goodness, this is why we're using this next year. And look for videos where like, that did not work for us. That was awful. I hated every second of it. Look for both extremes and a few in the middle is always a good idea. I like to do that for mine and I have been able to kind of weed out and go, you know, the reason they hated this was actually a reason that I would love it. So that, you know, just another check mark for that. Or maybe, oh, I didn't think through that as well. You know, they did love this, but I'm not that kind of mom. Like, I don't, I don't think I would enjoy that. Maybe that's a little too intensive. Maybe that's a little too simple. So I would encourage you to go out there and look for good, solid reviews that, um, that actually give you a perspective of either pros and cons or that are extreme one or the other. Um, you do want to get a well-rounded view and not just talk to a few people. Also know that you can make any curriculum work um, for you and your child, but finding the perfect fit is a huge game changer. And that perfect fit might change. It might grow and develop as your kids get older and things get more challenging. It might change as your family dynamics change. So be open to growing with your family and not get so stuck on it worked last year so it has to work this year or it didn't work last year so there's no way it could work this year. I had one curriculum that I tried for my for my older kids and I tried it and they hated it. It was too, it broke it down into too many steps. 
But then with my daughter who struggles a lot in learning, she needed all of that repetitiveness and that and that going over each detail a million and one times to really get it. She needed that to actually learn. So just because something didn't work for one doesn't mean it won't work for the others. And I just would encourage you guys to really examine and do the research up front to find out what works best for you. And don't go 100% off of recommendations, but don't throw the recommendations out the door either. They can be really, really helpful for you guys. I don't know if that's been helpful, but I hope it's at least encouraging you that you're not alone in trying to figure out this crazy world of homeschool curriculum. And if you guys need uh, recommendations for different things, um, for resources for figuring out your teacher si teaching style or figuring out your child's learning style or maybe what works best for big families or small families, feel free to drop it in the comments. I by far do not know everything, but I have tried a lot of curriculum both as a teacher and as a student. I do know a lot of Grace resources and I would be happy to help in any way I can. Um, just drop those in the comments. And I post videos like this every Wednesday and Saturday on making the most in the little moments in homeschooling, home management, parenting and everything in between. So if those are topics that interest you, I would love if you would take a quick second to subscribe to my channel and click the little notification bell so that you can get notified when new videos come out. If this has also been helpful, I would love if you would share it. If that can help someone else, then I would love to do that. I look forward to talking to you guys next week. Talk to you later. Bye.